earliest stars that had been seen before in these lucky locations behind these clusters were maybe about five billion years after the Big Bang. And now we have one that's a billion years after the Big Bang. And in this case, because the star is in a very lucky location, the magnification is about almost a factor of 10,000, which means the star goes from completely invisible to suddenly visible to Hubble. And we were astonished by it. In the original universe, there was just hydrogen and helium, the two lightest elements in our periodic system. But the stars today also contain heavy elements like iron and, and silicon, magnesium, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen that we're made of. And those elements are formed, we think, in, in stars as they uh, form and evolve. They burn their nuclear fuel. But once upon a time, there were stars out there that consisted of pure hydrogen and helium. And we believe that this star may be just that. We haven't been able to prove anything more that the star is there and at this distance and magnified by this giant factor. We haven't shown its chemical composition yet. That's the next step that the Webb telescope will pick up.